Weekend's quickly approaching, only two days left until we head out for our overnight camping trip. This weekend we'll be taking our son along with us. He usually doesn't get to go because he works on the weekends, but fortunately he's got the Saturday, Friday and Saturday off, so he'll be joining us. We had to go borrow a tent for him, and we need to set it up and make sure all of the parts are there and there's no major holes or anything in it. Here's Weston be joining us this weekend and here's his fine tent that he'll have all to himself big huge spacious tent it's like a mansion out on the trail you excited yeah and we are at Mayaka Forest Hunting season is in progress. All right, here we go. The Great Walker Expedition of this weekend. So we've got the boy with us. Look at him, turn around, show your backpack real quick. Looky there, got his backpack, got a small day pack, everything packed in there. We're all jumping out here. It's about 4.42. Sunsets at 6.30, 6.45, so we've got two hours, but look at the <laughs> cloud. The rain is coming in, so we've got 2.2 miles to the Mayaka River campsite, which we are camping at tonight. So we're going to get moving quickly so we can hopefully get there before we get too wet. <laughs> we'll let you know how this turns out. Hey. Two minutes on the trail, we're in a torrential downpour. <laughs> but at least it's not lightning. So it's very cool. And we've got umbrellas. Should have probably chosen the rain gear option. But didn't think it was going to be this severe. So we're having fun in the rain. There she is. There's the boy. He's got the rain gear on. my head like a memory falling on my head like a new emotion here it comes again here it comes again oh yeah baby whoop, whoop. we're ready for prime time whoop, whoop. Weston you want to get in on this no. okay. <laughs> no. oh we made it oh it's gorgeous Gorgeous rainy campsite. Oh, this is outstanding. Rainy day, this is gonna be great sleeping weather. We got a table, we got a fire pit that will definitely not be used. And a cleared campsite. Oh, look at there. Look at the look at the river over here, Weston. Look at this.
honey. What do you think about primitive camping? This is amazing. You want to go back to car camping? We can go back to car camping. No, okay. This is our own, like I was saying, this is like our own little bungalow. Mm -hmm. It's secluded. That is what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think, Weston? It's okay. It's like a little private island. I'm sitting on the dock of the bay, wasting time. Headed for the Frisco Bay. 2,000 miles I roam, just to make this dock my home. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> there you go. Oh, it was a pretty rough night last night. <laughs> My sleeping bag was soaked from the walk-in, from the hike-in. And so I slept in my rain jacket. Put my little face in my jacket and slept. Tried to warm up. Had my hood on most of the time. My pants were wet. Slept in wet pants. Socks were wet. I got my bare feet. That was nice. So I slept in bare feet most of the night. It was warm all night. <laughs> Pretty cold. 66 degrees it is now. And most of what you will laugh, but if you live in Florida, 66 degrees is pretty chilly. And trying to sleep in 66 degree weather is pretty tough. Yeah, we had a lot of, uh, we had pretty interesting evening and morning. We had rain at the beginning of the night before midnight. Then I heard the, the hoot owl. The, then it started to rain. I had never heard wind in the forest. And right now that's what we have is wind in the forest. But I was warm the whole time. I can't believe my husband was cold. I'm sorry, baby. Froze my Turkish off. Spent the evening last night at Mayaka State Forest in North Fort, Florida. And we woke up to 66 degrees. And what an amazing gem. And I'm drinking my coffee and enjoying this beautiful view. And it's about 66 degrees. And here this comes my good. husband. <laughs> Our Sawyer water flow. We need some water. I know, it's, it's pretty far down there, baby. Uh, nope. Miss Joanne messing around threw one of our few water containers into the drink. And there she goes, 
chasing the pile. All right, it is 925. We've got the morning routine completed, water filled, packs packed, and we are ready to start the day of hiking. We are going to do a trail that is five and a half miles long and see what we find along the way. We got to be out of here tonight before dark, so we'll see how much hiking we get in. Right, baby, tell them where we're at. We are in Mayaka State Forest. Mayaka River State Forest. Nope. And we are going in North <laughs> Mayaka State Forest Loop. And we're going that way. Mayaka State Forest. We found a ranger station. We also found a parking lot for the North Loop and Peace River Emergency uh, Search and Rescue is out here with their dogs, training their dogs and the lady just told us they have a cadaver over there somewhere to train their dogs. So we're going to stay over here away from the cadaver. <laughs> Beautiful canine dog though. Beautiful. But we found potable water which is really good because the river we were camping on was brackish water <laughs> and it was no bueno. So, Ranger Station has a spigot here labeled potable water. So we're good, filled up. I'll go back on the trail a little further, stop and have lunch. Overcast day, but it's nice and cool. Yeah, it is. Don't know what the temperature is because all the electronics are dying. This will probably be the last recording. 68 degrees. 68 degrees. Crossed our friend here. I was walking hard and heavy and almost put my foot right down on him before I noticed him. And here we are. We just stopped for some lunch. And we're doing the white loop. And, north this, loop and this is the north loop and this is where it started we kind of took it in the middle because we were camping here so having fun all right we just got off the trail and we met conan and silda here and uh, they're going to stay exactly where we stayed last night so you guys have fun there's a uh, Beautiful dock out there, you're gonna enjoy it. Wonderful view. And then come to our YouTube channel and you'll be able to show everybody where you stayed because we're gonna have lots of footage for it on the channel. All right, perfect. All right, have a good time. Okay. Enjoy. Bye-bye now. <laughs> the Trail and Camp Report wrap-up of Mayaka State Forest comes to you today from, where are we? We are the Golden Corral. Golden Corral. Why do I always have to ask you where we are? Because I have no idea where sorry, I'm at, ever. Because, uh, I am all about the food. I never have any idea where I'm at. I always have to ask her. 
But at any rate, the trail, it was the, the state forest was very nice. The camp we stayed at, wonderful. Loved it, would go again. There's only, only one person allowed to camp in the camp at a time. So if you want a secluded area, make reservations to head on out there. Dock on the bay, wonderful. Some sort of animals, snake, hawk, turtle, frog, stuff like that. No, no uh, large animals. The trails are mainly brush hogged roads, service roads. So it's a little boring, but it's well maintained and easy to get around. Good little bit of exercise, about 10 miles all in all a day. And a beautiful campsite on the river. That was the main. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah. Very secluded, very um, away from everybody, and just kind of like our own little resort. Would cool. definitely go again just for the camping area. And there was enough room for two to three other tents, so it's not like you have to just go by yourself in one tent. Anything else? Um, there was, you gotta be careful though, because there was hunters out there. That concerned me hearing the gunshots. Most state forces will have hunters using the lands too. Yeah, November. It starts in November. Down in Florida. Alright, we'll see y'all next time.